Hello everyone, welcome to Teacher Chayun's Virtual Classroom. Today we're going to learn about telling number stories. By the end of this course, you should know how to tell number stories, make and complete number bonds. First, let's identify what is a number bond. Number bond is made up of parts and a whole. It consists of three circles. Usually, it has one big circle and two small circles aligned to it. The one big circle here are called the whole, and the two small circle here are called the part. Usually, a number bond is looks like this, and like this. Usually, it looks like this, and like this. So, to fully understand this, let's have some example using number bond. For example, let's complete the number bonds. To complete the number bonds, let us count the number of each object in each group. So we have 5 red flowers and 3 blue flowers. Now, these number bonds are called the parts of the number bond. So we will put the 5 and 3 to the bottom because it represents the part. Now, how many flowers are there all together? Very good. We have 5 and 3 makes 8. Now we will put the 8 to the top because it represents the whole. So using the mathematical sentence, we can say that 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 and there are 8 flowers all together. Another example, complete the number bonds. So we have two soccer balls and three basketball balls. These are the parts of a number bond. So we will write two and three to the bottom because it represents the part. Now, how many balls are there all together? Very good. So we have five balls all together. We will write five to the top because it represents the whole. So, we can say that 2 and 3 makes 5, or 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Another example, look at the object. So, how we can complete this number bond? So, by looking at the object, we can break this based on the color of each party hot. Or, we can draw a line to break each group into two parts. Okay, let's draw a line. So let's have like this and like this. After you drawing the line, count the number of objects in each group. So we have 5 and 4. So these numbers are the part of the number bond. So we will write 5 and 4 to the bottom because it represents the part. So we have 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. Another example, there are seven orange all together and three are shown. Find the missing part. So to find the missing part, we can use the adding up or count forward. Start from three, add until you reach seven. So four, five, six, seven. So how many steps did you take to reach seven? All right, four. Very good. And another way to solve this is by Drawing line, draw a line. Okay, so we have three, and how many are left? One, two, three, four. So we have four. So we can say that three and four make seven, or three plus four is equals to seven. Another example we have six apples all together, and five are shown. Find the missing part. So to solve this, let's draw until 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, how many are left? Very good. We have 1. So we have 1 and 5 makes 6. 
or using the mathematical sentence, we can say that 1 plus 5 is equal to 6. Remember, number bond is made up of parts and a whole. And a number bond is important because it helps us to see how many numbers are put together. Now let's do more practice using number bonds.